Well, Troy, it's been a while since we've caught up for the internet anyway. Um, how's the season going generally? How's the development of the BMW coming? Yeah, you know, it's exactly that. You know, we're developing uh, lots of parts on the bike. Uh, it's uh, probably not the easiest place for sure to do it on the at the racetrack while we're trying to get a set up for the race and find a race tyre and, and give back some information. But uh, it seems to be going pretty well. You know, we've... Uh, I think at the beginning of the season we were sort of expecting some results to come pretty quickly and I think as the times come on, you know, the results are there. You know, to be one second off the pole position on the new bike is a pretty good job, I think, for the amount of time that we've got on the circuit. Each track that we go to is uh, another new circuit for us completely. So, uh, no, it's going forward. And, and I think it also belies just how competitive the series is. It's all very well developing a new bike, but it's a series is seemingly, and you'll know because you've been around it, has gone up a level. I mean, in terms of qualifying, top 20 is less than a second at times. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I think you know, for, for us to be out there, if we're out there on a bike that had been here in the championship and to, to be within a second of pole position, you'd be pretty happy normally. So uh, to do it, like you said, on a new bike is uh, a pretty good job. But, uh, you know, obviously we're, 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 we're trying to do it as quick as possible because we want to get some results before the end of the season. But uh, we just have to be a little bit patient. You know, we're not getting any pressure from the, the guys at the head of BMW. Uh, they, I think, have realised that we're going to need a little bit of time to, to get this bike sorted out. But uh, obviously the engineers and the mechanics and, and even us riders here at the track, uh, when we're, we're living it every day, we, we want to get some results and we want to start making some steps and to see results. That's, that's how we can see our work. But uh, if you look at analyse the lap times and see where we're losing time, uh, and look at where we're actually still not happy with what the bike's doing. Um, it's not that far away. So, uh, what tar- characteristics particularly? Is there anything? Is it engine? Is it is it stability? Is it I don't know. Uh, front end, back end. What, what is it particularly you're working on? Well, to be honest, the engine's uh, quite peaky. You know, it's got it's got a lot of power, but uh, very strong torque. So, it's not real easy to open in the middle of the corners without it spinning or wheeling. So, uh, so we've been improve- working on that with the electronics and the fueling and the wheelie control and, and the track control and all the, these sorts of things, which obviously each one has quite a big influence on the bike, but you need to have all of them working correctly to actually still get performance out of the bike. So we're sort of going one thing at a time at the moment and seeing what it does. Uh, and normally by, you know, by the time we get to the end of Sunday, it'd be nice to have an extra day just to to try something on the bike that we learnt during the race over a race distance because obviously we can't do that that much of a distance during practice because we need to try some other stuff at the same time and different tyres. So uh, so normally we end up leaving here and uh, I'm quite happy with what we've found but it'd be nice to have an extra day at the same track to, to re-evaluate everything again at a different level. And having won the championship yourself twice uh, how are you looking at the battle that's starting now to, to really give a picture to us uh, Fabrizio Harger and Spees Spees obviously in his first year but uh, how do you see it panning out in the last few races well, yeah, I think uh, you, you're basically going to have the same four or five guys sort of up the front there I think uh, I think Johnny Ray's probably going to come on a little bit stronger he seemed to struggle a bit here at Donington uh, today but um, you know, he, he's I think everybody since the beginning of the year when we first went to Phillip Island I think we were at not a bad level with the bike but I think since then till now I think every other manufacturer has actually made quite a step with their bike uh, whether it's engine or chassis or electronics uh, ours is pretty much the same as what we've had all year so uh, we've got another stage um, of the bike coming after this race uh, we've got a little bit of testing to go away and do which we really need to do because uh, like I said the bike's basically been frozen with what we started with uh, just so we can un- actually understand what it's actually going to do with what we've got. But, uh, so I'm looking forward to the, basically the second half of the season for us. It's, uh, and we've made a good step in the first half. Now we just need to improve it another half a second or a second. And personally, you've got some more innovations coming on. You've just introduced a new energy drink. How's that going? Yeah, you know, the Pussy Energy Drink's going really well. Uh, now we're advertising it quite a lot here. We've got it in the program and uh, I mean, we'll have a, a few uh, samples getting around the paddock here and... But uh, it's going really well. You know, Monaco launch went fantastically well for us, and uh, you know, we're trying to get all the different territories in place now. But uh, it's great. You know, it's all natural products, so uh, there's nothing in there bad. You, you can give it to your kids, this stuff, and uh, it's all going to be good. So uh, it's, it's, it helps me. I definitely use it. When I get out there on the bike, I'm drinking it in the paddock. It helps me focus a little bit in concentration, but uh, it definitely makes me go for a wee a bit more of that too. So, uh, but it's doing a good job. So uh, hopefully we'll just keep growing with it.
Thanks for talking to us and best of luck with the development. Yeah, thanks, John.